Uh, my name's Emma Earle and I run a th theatre company called Pins and Needles Productions. We had a week in Canterbury where Pins and Needles, which is uh, Zoe Squire and myself, Zoe is a designer, I'm a director, and three other artists, um, Helen Parler, who is a choreographer, Matthew Sharp, who is a cellist, baritone and um, composer, and Nick Garnett, who is a sort of amazing kind of sculptor, and he has a van full of apparatus and sort of odds and sods and junk that you can make incredible structures out of. So the, the project was to kind of pull these people who've not worked together before to see what might come out of it. Um, so we started off in Canterbury, and the majority of the week was getting to know each other, finding a little bit out about how we all like to work, and the, the uh, underlying thing was, right, we're aiming towards creating a, a show, a festive-themed show for uh, three- to seven-year-olds. So this was interesting in Canterbury to arrive on day one not having worked with anybody before. So a lot of that first four days in Canterbury was really just talking, doing some movement exercises and sort of improvisations, doing a lot of stuff with sound and music, uh, creating loops and sort of creating live scores to possible action and trying to collect a whole smorgasbord of, of ideas that might lead to the development of a show. This week we are in Cornerstone and we've been trying to focus our ideas a little bit more. We are hoping to have the seeds of a show to pitch to the people who funded this project and to uh, children to measure the temperature to see if it's kind of something that is going to engage or not and so yeah we've got a rough template for a narrative and we're just exploring the world of the piece in terms of textures and aesthetics at the moment and characters hopefully we'll be able to just present an, a range of different material to people and find out you know what their response is and hopefully that will be sort of stage one in the the birth of a new Christmas show but who knows, it may not. <laughs> I'm Miranda Lawrence, we're at Cornerstone. This is the middle of our greenhouse project here. Over the last years we've developed quite a good audience for Christmas shows uh, amongst children, which aren't pantomimes. We've been bringing in children's theatre companies to present Christmas shows for, for the kind of younger age range and it's been steadily increasing our audiences. So I think Emma was very keen to, well, first of all, to, for Cornerstone to start initiating producing work. It's kind of the first time that we've been involved with that at all. And then I think the partnership with Gulbenkian, again, we got together as two venues. It's a new thing for us to collaborate with another venue, and that was that was part of this project that would be an interesting thing for us to try. But we were really keen to bring together some different artists from different art forms um, to really kind of generate something brand new, something that wasn't going on already. And there's, there's a lot of great children's theatre coming along in the last five years or, or more lots of good Christmas children's theatre as well so we kind of really wanted to up the ante and create some really fantastic artistic work which happens to be for children and in doing that wanted to kind of bring together different artists. Yeah this morning we've been getting our hands dirty with lots of bizarre artifacts the sort of junk that you would find um, perhaps in a sort of um, um, it's that kind of like a rag and bone man's, you know, like junkyard um, slash attic. And we've been focusing on two of the characters from our story, a granny character who appears one thing by day and another thing by night. She's sort of quite a miserable and inspiring grey, typically elderly, sort of unapproachable character. But there's this mystery of her kind of nightly visits to the shed at the bottom of her garden. And she's got her seven or eight year old uh, grandson staying and they don't particularly get on and so his name is Cyril and we've also been exploring his character and he's fascinated by what she does in the shed because it's locked up and it's an un inaccessible place for him so we've been using all of the amazing um, bits and pieces that Nick has brought along to to, to sort of get a, a flavour of these characters we've been using everything from kind of petrol pumps to pressure gauges and kitchen colanders and brillo pads and <laughs> hoover bits of a hoover bits of fabric everything you can imagine so yeah it's been really fun it's been a bit of a kind of uh, yeah just a, the beginnings of a sort of mood board for a, for a costume approach I guess. <laughs>